Uh, let's go to Gary's music. <coughs> oh, hey. What's up, dude? Hey, David. How's it going? Uh, not too bad. How is Screams going, and how can I help? Uh, screams are going good. Um, I think the last time we talked in uh, Telegram, we, we said to kind of start working on front of the throat um, false chord screaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, by the way, do you happen to have a, do you happen to have a, your webcam? If not, no big deal. I don't need to see you, but it'd be kind of nice. Oh, you know what? Hey, let me see if I, I was trying to fix the settings on this. Let me know if this is working. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. Okay, sweet. Um, okay, cool, man. Um, yeah. So why don't you try, um, as far as front of the throat, um, okay. Did you happen to give that a shot? Did you, do you want to show me what you got or where were you at with yeah. it? Okay, you're you're almost you're almost there, dude. You're like kind of in the right ballpark. I think it just needs to you just need to tweak it slightly in order to get more of that crunch going on. But in terms of like the that that general ballpark, you're in the right ballpark. Um, try that again, but w with more of an ah vowel. So instead of uh ah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Try to go. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Um, do that two more times, then I'll give you the next uh, the next step. Okay. Sweet. Um, so the next thing that I want you to do is add in maybe like twenty percent voice, meaning don't like yell a whole lot, but just add a little bit of ha 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 to the equation. So ha plus ha 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 awesome. Okay, so could you hear how that sort of improved the tone? It got it crunchier and it also removed some of that airiness? Yes. Okay, awesome, cool. So there's a couple things going on. So um yeah, I think when you start to do front of the throat, I think for you specifically, um, I want you to start with the ah vowel. And the reason why I want you to start with an ah vowel is generally when people pronounce ah with their vocals, they tend to sort of close, they tend to clench their throat a little more. And in the case of front of the throat false chords for that specific type, if you, the more you sort of close your throat, you start to close your arytenoids, which just makes it easier for you to achieve that distortion. Um, so that's the first side of the equation. The second side is that when you add um, whenever you hear any sort of airiness to your front and throat false chords, if you add just an, uh, just a little bit of voice, that should get rid of the airiness and sort of bring the tone together. So those two things um, I want you to sort of do. Let's just do it a couple more times just to make sure that that advice still works. Uh, but once again, at the aval, <laughs> and then adding just maybe like 20% voice. <laughs> 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 Yeah, pretty good. I think you could, you could push a little harder from your stomach. And so one thing that I, so 20% voice, when you do this type of scream, it should be 20% voice um, and then like 80% <sighs> just sort of pushing hard from your diaphragm. But that, that was otherwise pretty good. Let's try that again. <sighs> 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 Nice. Okay. More voice. Ha! Okay, so did you hear how when you when you did all three of those things like perfectly, just the tone just really popped out? Yeah, it sounded louder than I've been able to get it so far too. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, what would you say? Um, cause obviously you've been practicing with yourself more than I've been practicing with you right now. Um, what would you say is the, the main thing that you weren't doing that you just did right now that sort of, you feel like got you to, to do that tone? Uh, the encouragement to push harder, um, to try to make more, um, power come through, I guess, and, and then to put more voice into it. So I've really just been, um, trying to get the feel of the vibration and the, chin front of throat area and <clears throat> and not as much thinking about like belting this out so okay, just, okay. yeah let's uh, try yeah I, you know. okay that, that's good thanks for giving me that feedback okay so let's let's try that again and let's just try to have you belt it out more <sighs> 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 <sighs>
Dude, that sounds monstrous. That sounds monstrous, dude. Um, and so when you do, when things click into place too, it should kind of feel satisfying. Like, does that feel like that a little more correct in your body when you do that? Yeah, it, it feels satisfying to to know that I'm making the sound that I'm aiming for. Um, uh, physically, feeling wise, it does feel like that's scratchy on the chin, and like I might have to cough a little bit at the end of it. Okay. Okay. But, um, yeah, as far as like progress, it feels good. Awesome. Cool. So yeah, and thanks for sharing that with me. I think that when you start doing something new specifically with this type of false chords, um, and in this case, I think it's sort of like pushing a little more, you will, f you, there is a likelihood that you might feel a little bit of scratchiness at first, but keep on doing it for like seven days in this new way and you'll feel 80% better. Um, yeah, you're not harming your vocal cords. Once again, as a reminder, the, the scratchiness you feel is just your false chords being used and they can adapt. So that's why like there's a, probably about like a week, a week acclimation, uh, like a week's worth of um, acclimation period to that and then you'll feel better. So um, does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, just need to do it more. And so now, now that I know what I'm aiming for, I, I mostly practice when I'm driving around in the car, um, blaring all of my favorite metal music, and then I'll just try to make the noises that they're making. And so um, now when I'm doing that, I'm going to be targeting those specific three things, the, the vibration, the diaphragm push, and the vocals coming through. Yeah, let me, let me write this down on your telegram right now. So, okay, vibration, just diaphragm push and then voice voice um uh, equals front of the throat false chord success okay and then uh parentheses it can be helpful to use the ah vowel use the ah vowel instead of the o vowel for starters sorry that's me doing that <laughs> for you uh, um Anyway, um, so um, yeah, so I, I think that that's that's a pretty good starting point. I think that um, if you start with the A ah vowel, and I'm I'm gonna give you more information than I think is like digestible for you right now, just because I feel like it's been a while since we've we've talked. So I'd, I'd rather just blah, 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 just give you like um, give you some yeah. more, more information. So um, the key, so that's how you get the the bass tone. I think starting from A ah is pretty good, but um, if you start from there and you can more you can morph it into other vowels, so you can go. Ah. And it's a lot easier to start with a good tone and bring it somewhere else as opposed to trying a different vowel that might be harder. Um, and so another thing too is that um, uh, you could start saying words and if words are kind of tough to say, then you can underpronounce them at first and then continue to pronounce them harder and harder as time goes on. So instead of saying like A, B, C, that might be hard. You could say like, oh, I say, then you could sort of work your way to pronouncing that more um uh yeah okay so how is uh yeah what what other what other questions you got i want to make sure that you're set up in case i don't talk to you for a while again uh, I, i'm gonna try to be more um uh, present and work with you more here uh, also I, th I think i um we initially uh, only did a couple months, so if I need to re-up with you, just let me know. And, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, yeah, we yeah we we still got time, um, and you've made for what it's worth, you made like a lot of progress to the point where I didn't feel like I needed a whole lot of like touch base with you. Um, so, but yeah, I just want to make sure that you're <laughs> killing it. So, if you have any questions, yeah. just ask me. So. The other thing, um, my. I guess head voice fry screaming or fry screaming. Um, I, I have been uh, engaging in vices where I smoke and it draw, draw like dries out my throat a little bit. And so um, uh, one of the videos I sent in Telegram, you said it sounded like I was doing good with the head voice fry screaming. Um, so I don't think, I, I don't know, I guess my issue with that is like still, how do I make it sound louder? Like how do I? Yeah, sure. Let me um let me take a listen. Um uh let me take a listen. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So based off of that, um, the main thing is opening your mouth. So there's two things. The first one is opening your mouth. The second one is, uh, well, let, let's let's try the head voice fry, but just ah! instead, because generally when you sort of close your mouth like that, it sort of muffles the frequencies and sort of just generally doesn't appear as loud. So um, you want to try that? Ah, what's your mouth open? So first off, could you hear how much louder that was just by you opening your mouth? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Forget, I, I had like 10 other things that was just like, okay, if that doesn't work, then blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, just forget all the main thing is just open your mouth. <laughs> <Got> it. <laughs> um, it's I did do. Yeah, yeah. And so the, the reason why things are like, the reason why um, opening your mouth makes things louder is because when your mouth is closed, that sort of just um, prevents a lot of the, the overtones from coming out. But when you open your mouth, you're allowing a lot of those audible overtones to be heard. And and um, particularly with the head voice fry, you actually don't need to be that loud in order to be audible just because like the frequency of head voice fries is so shrill and it's so like trebly that you don't need a lot to be heard. I'm actually not that loud, but it's just very audible at those frequencies. So um, yeah, just open your mouth more. And when you're, even when you're saying words keep your mouth open so instead of saying ape like abc like abc say things like i buy sigh i buy sigh and sort of you know that'll keep that volume up so um yeah simple right. simple solution um uh, does that make sense it does yeah and that's that's easy to do so mental note open my mouth <laughs> okay well i'll just i'll just put that in okay so um, head, let's see, uh, okay, head, voice, fries, uh, to make them louder, open your mouth. And it's a very common sort of, sort of, I won't say mistake, but that's a very common thing where people are like, oh, how do I get volume? I'm just like, yeah, open your mouth. And people are like, whoa. <laughs> so, um, okay. Um, what other questions you got? Um, none at the, at the moment, man. I'll, uh, I'll keep practicing on what we've talked about today and uh and take it from there awesome cool yeah um start recording covers pretty soon too because like i want to get you to the point where you're actually doing like cool shit with your vocals instead of just like you know just making cool sounds so uh yeah start recording covers if you can and uh keep me posted on telegram um but yeah other than that you're killing it awesome thanks man cool. all right talk to you next time yep all right